What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from SeaWorld Orlando for another 2023 roller coaster project construction update. Going name right now is High Surf. And guess what? There's some new deliveries in the storage lot. Before we head inside the park, let's get over there. All right, here we are at the storage lot and check it out. New track. These right here that are under the tarps, we believe are launch segments. Again, don't go into the long grass, folks. Ice by LSMs. Again, isn't that the cutest little support you've ever seen?
Well, those were some awesome views of the storage lot with all those track and support pieces. And now we're here at the park. There's something I want to show you at the self-service ticketing area. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you. Rewards. And I have a platinum pass, but you can see a free guest ticket. They also have a SeaWorld Orlando $45 guest ticket valid through August 31st. They have pass member rewards, craft beer festival. You can get one item if you're a Dima. You have to use it that day though. And then we can see on the other pages, $25 guest ticket to Aquatica, Adventure Island stuff, $10 Bush Bucks. Might have to go to Bush. And I see gold platinum member only dolphin counter and one right quick queue for today if I wanted to do that. But yeah, good options and good pass member rewards. Parking was a breeze and there's not much of a wait over here at the main ticket windows. And it looks like at the uh, front entrance, no wait either. Gonna get right in. Yep, like usual, no wait to get through and we are on our way. You know something awesome? School's back in session and uh, park is a lot less busy. SeaWorld store, let's see if they have any new items. Now, just last week they had it where they gave us $20 in SeaWorld bucks and combine that and I was able to get a nano coaster for pretty much, I think it was like 60 cents, some of that. As far as pens, they have a couple things here and there, but I've noticed there's not a lot of new pens that have been coming out recently. Hopefully that changes. Another look at the wall of events. We can see right now Craft Beer Festival weekends, August 5th through September 5th. Of course, Howl Scream coming back for its second year, select night, September 9th through October 31st. Halloween Spooktacular for the little kids with candy, running select dates September 17th through October 31st. And of course we have SeaWorld Christmas Celebration, select dates November 11th through December 31st. Rubber Bloops are out doing their thing today. Time for aerial views of the construction site via Sky Tower. And it's open. Construction ducks and little baby ducks too, see? That one's getting a little bit bigger now. One other interesting thing to note. I can't tell you the last time I saw this fountain on. All right, so here we are getting a view of the main construction site. As we saw from the Sky Tower, lots of foundations are popping up all over the site. Main focus of work this week is on the launch. You can also see over in this area for the turnaround. They're gonna be doing some of the concrete foundation work very soon for that. The auger drill is going around over here and that's about where we think an inversion will be and several tight turns in that area. And we also expect very soon vertical construction. I know we said in about two updates ago that it was gonna be sometime mid-August. Well, it's looking like that, so it could, it could literally be any day. Any day, possibly this week, next week. Sometime though, very, very soon though, it will go vertical.
So yeah, barring any delays, which I don't see them having any, as they are actually ahead of schedule right now, fingers crossed, we'll go vertical by the end of August. Looks like the construction ducks and construction fish are out today. Icebreaker currently showing a 25 minute wait. And yes, the height requirement still is 54 inches. Hopefully we can lower it back down to what it was when the ride first opened. I haven't made any modifications just yet. We'll let you know when they do. Let's start talking about Howl Scream a little bit. Last year we had a maze over here at Wild Arctic. And down this hallway, they're doing work again for it. Yep, just like before, barricades and a screen so we can't see all of the maze work going on right there. But uh, yeah, last year this was a really solid house and they're revamping it hopefully making it a little bit scarier. So yeah, once again, the former area for Wild Arctic, the ride and the exhibit, well, the exhibit's still open, but the ride is not, will be transformed into a haunted house beneath the ice. Work wall still up over here for the former Sunday shop, and I'm not seeing any new progress, but if there is, we'll let you know when that happens. All right, and here's a look at the park map. Last year, we had scare zones right over in this area and that would be over here. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything for Howl's Scream set up just yet, but I'm sure that's gonna change. Then we had another scare zone over here by Infinity Falls. We're gonna go over that area next. 
Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything for Hallow Scream over here just yet either. Soon though. Infinity Falls, and it's a hot day. Currently the wait though, only 70 minutes. Eh, still too long for my liking. Waterway Grill, and in our last update, well, there was some new Howl Scream stuff, and they were serving up free beer. Unfortunately, free beer's over. Now, last year for Howl Scream, this area was transformed into an awesome bar, and I'm expecting the same thing. Again, big old Howl Scream sign right there showing select nights. Now, these are the kind of signs I like to see. Howl Scream showing up. Well, check this out. We're over here by the Nautilus Theater, and here's something that hasn't been announced just yet, but there's signage. Monster Stomp Slasher Alley is returning. Awesome, awesome percussion show that we saw last year, and I'm so happy it's back. And if you guys want a little preview of what you can expect from the show, here's a clip right now. And more signage over here on the other side of the Nautilus Theater, right next to Mako. Speaking of Mako, currently showing a five minute wait, which is not terrible. And we've showed you a couple POVs recently, and well, I want to go catch a ride. So let's do it again. And here we are. Not much of a wait at all. Year for Hollow Scream, this area over here by Sharks Underwater Grill and Bar had some theming set up. Different kind of spooky ship stuff, but uh, not seeing anything right now. See, we told you the craft beer festival was going on, and here's one of the booths. Number 10, Wish You Were Beer. Manta. Let's see what kind of weight it has. 20 minutes. Not bad. Of course, whenever we're near Manta, you know that it's just about time for Pink Chickens. Well guys, that's going to do it for another video here from SeaWorld Orlando for the 2023 roller coaster project known as High Surf. Exciting stuff, lots of foundations going in for the launch. The turnaround area has seen a little bit of love and that auger drill is doing all sorts of work for the rest of the ride layout. New track was delivered and that is launch track. Of course we have Mantha doing a flyby here. Craft Beer Festival is going on along with Electric Ocean. And we'll be back, of course, for many more updates. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.